What? Wait a second. Is this a fossil? Oh my god, did it just turn into a mammoth? What the hell, guys? Hey everyone, it's Hydroform here and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the fossils and archaeology revival mod and so this is the mod and in this test we have everything that is related to this mod and as you guys can see so we have a ton of different things I mean there's not everything that you can fit in one chest let me just show you what all is there I mean just look at this guys look at the amount of stuff that is there currently and yeah so we're going to be taking a look at that today so firstly we have this ancient key over here and the Dinopedia and for whatever reason the Dinopedia never opened so this is a non-openable book and this ancient key you'll actually require to be used with the ancient treasure chest now i'm going to show you how this chest works so basically you place it down and you cannot open it just like that you need an ancient key and then it's going to open up and it's going to give you an ancient clock that's all it's going to do and if you open it up once again it's going to do the same thing it's just going to give you an ancient clock now this ancient clock i'm not sure what to use it really has other than just being really cool uh, so we have different colors of balls and yeah they're just a bit weird these are i think these are the clay or slime and you can basically move them kick them around and do all of that so maybe like a football match in minecraft if you if you fancy that i mean yeah you could potentially do that there's a great idea over there and we also have a ton of different food items such as cooked egg cooked chicken soup raw chicken soup then we have magic conch Anyway, so and then over here we have ancient helmet, then broken ancient helmet, and then we have the skull, I mean the bone armor, all right? So I'm going to show you guys the broken ancient helmet. You can't wear it, but you can wear this ancient helmet and it gives you a really cool effect. Now let me show you, look at this guys. This gives you a really cool shadow effect. And now the same thing will happen when you're wearing the bone helmet as well. It's going to give you this really cool effect. But the only difference is you can see the eyes over here and you cannot see the eyes over here as you guys can see so it's completely covered so yeah really cool effect and let me just put on this and i'm going to show you guys how cool it looks guys look at this guys oh yeah it looks freaking awesome i'm like a tribal man from the old age and let me just remove this helmet because it may be a bit annoying and so over here we also have fossil records look at this guys fossil records who would have thought of that that's the only reason i have a jukebox over here and let me show you guys the first fossil record three two one look at this guys i know it's a bit creepy this music and i hope i don't get copyrighted i'm not sure if minecraft music can get copyrighted and then over here we have bones with this is a bit more upbeat as you guys can see i'm not sure why the dinosaurs were making music at this time and then over here discovering the past so this is kind of all right it's not that great anyway so these are just four discs i'm just giving you a bit of a sample for them because you know so i don't get copyrighted like i said and then we have bio fossil tar fossil and plant fossil so three types of fossil that are there over here three main types of fossil i mean so you as you guys can see so the tar fossil you can place and you can also place the bio fossil and these look really cool and each time you each time you place them a different shape of dinosaur uh, dinosaur spawns which is really awesome and then tar fossil as you guys can see so tar fossil are for basically insects and fish and even mammals and these are mostly for dinosaurs these are bio fossils and then plant fossils you can't really place over here which is a bummer but anyway so now moving on in this chest we also have some of the ancient weapons ancient sword ancient javelin which is really cool and i'm going to get to then the scarab sword scarab pickaxe and you know scarab axe and everything and these are the different uh, javelins i'm going to sh just show you with a diamond javelin just to give you an example now this ancient sword sword it deals six attack damage which isn't really that great i mean it's just a sword so there's nothing else you can expect from it and this ancient javelin all right this is really cool so you see that pig over there i think i can get it from here all right so unfortunately i could not hit that uh, all right so oh my god guys did you see that oh my god it has a chance of spawning lightning guys that's what i was going to show you so it has a small chance of spawning lightning which is awesome and then this uh, diamond javelin over here basically you can chuck it really really far away and yeah so as you guys can see so it went pretty far but not far enough to hit the pig and let me just get rid of this fire before we cause a forest fire and here we have the scarab sword which deals eight attack damage which is insane and then we have the scarab pickaxe and all of that and then over here in this chest again we have the javelin and then this is amber all right so basically we have a new ore called amber ore as you guys can see so this is amber ore and this is the fossil block 
Now this fossil block is really amazing. And with this fossil block, basically you have a chance to find an, a relic called it. So an artifact such as a scarab gem or an aquatic scarab gem. And this is chicken essence. And this is Dominician Amber. So basically the same thing, almost the same thing as Amber, but there is no separate ore, however. And now, all right. So these are some of the plants that are here. And yeah, before we get to the mods, I mean, before we get to the mobs, I'm just going to show you all the plants that are over here. So the first plant over here is is the Tempskia. You can see it's kind of like a palm plant, a mini palm plant, which grows. And then this is a Kratigus. And this is a statue, actually. I know what you're wondering this is. But this is just a statue over here, Anubit statue. And then over here, we have something really special. This is the, what do you call this? The cartel plant, all right? So back in the day, there was the Jurassic cartel. And this is what they used to make the, you know, stuff out of. If I say the word, I'm probably gonna get demonetized, which I don't really want to. And then over here we have the mutant plant, which is which is all right. It, it is mutant, not gonna lie. It looks a bit weird. And now coming to the more interesting stuff, and that is the mobs. So we have way too many mobs to cover in one video. All right, guys. So finally got everything in my inventory. And so starting off, we have the Lyopridion. Now I know I shifted to a different place, and that's because there's water over here to cover the water dinosaurs. And so this is the Leopedron. Oh, okay. This is a water dinosaur. It's a massive alligator kind of thing. And this is the Pleosaurus. So as you guys can see, so all of these are water aquatic uh, dinosaurs. That's the reason. Oh my God! Look at that, guys. Did you, hear, did you hear the noise? That's insane. And this is Anu. You just saw the Anu bit statue and this is basically the version of it. Oh my God, that is a creepy noise. Let's just move away from here, shall we? And over here, we have the Anu bit. Uh, so so the, these both are different. So Anu bit and Anu are a bit different. They are two different mobs and they both are bosses. So that's where the reason they have boss parts. I'm just gonna move far away from them. And this is the Sentry Pigmen, basically an old age, stone age version of the Pigmen that we see today. So this is the prehistoric version. And then over here, we have Tar Slime. I'm not really sure how Tar was invented back there, but anyway, we're not gonna question that. This is the Tar Slime and it's way weaker than the normal slime, but it's way stretchy. Look at this guys. Look at how stretchy that slime is. That is insane. And this is a Phalliosaurus. Okay, so it looks like a baby zombie and this is not an add-on. This is actually a mod, but the sound is just the same. And it kind of leaves this, uh, it kind of leaves this green color leafy thing wherever it goes. But anyway, so we are not gonna, we are not gonna go too much into that. And then we have the Megalodon. Now this, uh, this is uh, what I've been waiting to show you guys. Now look at this guys. Oh my God, look at that guys, that is insane. Now I know it's not as insane as I was hoping it would be, but anyway, okay, this is the mammoth over here. And I'm just gonna place it over here. It is insane. It can it can literally break blocks, destroy blocks in like seconds. And this is the Megalodon, like I said. Okay, okay. Now moving on to the other mobs that we have. So now we have all of this. So I'm going to start with the Stegosaurus, as you guys can see. So this is insane. I know it looks like a T-Rex, but it is a vegetarian dinosaur in real life. I'm not sure what it is in Minecraft. And this is the Pachylosaurus. I know these names are quite confusing, so I'm not gonna get too much into them. And this is the Megalo Megalosaurus, right? No, Megalania, look at this, guys. So the Megalania is a kind of alligator, crocodile kind of thing. And then over here, we're going to spawn the Megalosaurus. These, these creatures are just too noisy. Oh my God, guys, oh my God, what's happening? Oh, demonetized. Oh my god, guys. All right, so I should not have done that. I'm probably gonna get demonetized for showing gore and violence on YouTube. And this over here is the Alice Mortarium. Oh my god, that is huge. Just look at that, guys. That is huge. And then we have the Quagga, which I'm guessing is an aquatic mob. Okay, this is a zebra. Oh my god. All right, all right, let's just move from there. Oh, this is a tiny Quagga. It kind of looks like a crossbreed between a deer and a zebra. And this is the Simordan, which is basically going to eat the quagga. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. And I don't think I'm allowed to show that on YouTube. And all right. So we have the Titanus over here. And the Titanus is a kind of bird. And now we're just going to do one last dinosaur because, you know, there's just too many. This is the Pagloporus, all right? These are all the mobs. I mean, not all the mobs. Obviously, I can't show all of them. But this is most of the dinosaurs that I just showed right now. The, most of the dinosaurs and three historic animals. And so if you guys did find this video enjoyable, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. And in the meantime, go ahead and check out some of my other videos that are on your screen right now. And I'll catch you guys all there. Now, see ya.